to receive this Olympic gold. And so sad. I can't be there with you. Zero net carbon emission. Zero wealth concentration to end poverty once for all. There won't be much of a, an atmosphere in the stadium and I think that's a shame because obviously uh, you need that kind of atmosphere to uh, springboard again and to get the adrenaline uh, working and to get up onto that next level so you can perform at a higher level. For some of the youngsters that may be an advantage because uh, it's quite an ordeal to walk into an Olympic stadium of 100,000 people and then line up against a former Olympic champion or the Olympic champion or record holders so it might work a little bit easier in their uh, case that they won't get overawed by it all but uh, whatever happens I'm sure everyone's going to give their best. It's a shame because a lot of athletes unfortunately have uh, had their preparations hampered because uh, at such close quarters you know with so many other athletes, sportsmen and women, um, it's, it's likely to happen and uh, therefore sometimes um, in cases like this they're going to be unlucky and they'll get pink and they're not going to be able to do any of their preparation or may even miss the chance of competing getting on the start line. Um, some will argue whether or not they should have gone on the games. Um, but it's, it's an amazing event. It's, I mean, I, I found the Olympic Games I've been to four now, I've competed in four, as an amazing experience. And I think uh, it's more just than just bringing together top flight sportsmen and women around the world. It's about bringing the world together as, a, as, as one, and diversity and unity as well. So uh, it's just nice to be able to see that uh, you know the sport is on a, a level playing field and, and try not to get too uh, bogged down with politics and, and give people's in, uh, different opinions about what they think is right or wrong. Because I don't think the Olympics Games is about that. We wanted to bring a taste of the Olympics uh, to the UK. Obviously, it's, there's no spectators at the Olympics, and Tokyo's a long way away. So we wanted to recreate the atmosphere over here. So we've got various different activities, from table tennis to wall climbing to sprint tracks to bicycling. But also, if people want to just relax and sit down and have an ice cream or a drink, we've got deck chairs and we've got the content showing on our ocean screens uh, and, on, and uh, all around the Westfield Centre. I think the Olympics and sport in general is something that can really bind people and bring them together. We saw it in the Euros last month and I think that the Olympics is something that people can get behind, they can get behind the team. Forget about the difficult months we've had over the last 16 months and just be positive and look to the future really and admire the, the endurance and the talent of our athletes out there. Olympic addict, so um, he's persuaded me to spend a big chunk <laughs> of our um, couple of days vacation watching this but it is, it is a really special event so I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're here. I think it'll be quiet but even with this opening ceremony although it seems like dialed back it's still very like sincere and hopeful and I think that's what we can expect. <laughs>